Alright people, how's it going? My name is Big Mooney, this year is Wambo McGraw and we're going to be playing some Fallout 4 today. We're in the lair of the Mechanist. I left you guys with a wee question last week, whether or not I should kill the Mechanist. A lot of you said no, but a lot of you said aye, so McGraw's going to fucking get in there. That bitch killed me and it's not in McGraw's nature to, to let anyone get away with such fucking treachery. The thing is, we need to go through that entire battle again. <laughs> I know someone did say that there's a way around it and I don't, I don't have to do it, but you know what? Nah, no, man. You, you can't just like fail a challenge like that and then just use the bitch method of fucking doing it again. I never read this. This is a, a good wee bit of lore here and I completely missed this. Well, you know, I knew it was there. I just went straight past it though. I'm just gonna rattle through this, right? Once again, thanks to equipment failures, we're getting pretty backed up in this department. The brain extractors were never made to operate at this capacity. I think they've been running around the clock for the last few weeks. We usually end up with a pop blade from slicing through a particularly tough skull or the hydraulics in the pulling arm seize up when the spinal cord isn't fully severed and the brain is just pulled too early. I hope that Cyrilotti, what the fuck does that say? I hope that Cyrilotti doesn't yell at us again. This really isn't our fault. We all had a pretty good laugh around the extraction department today. Ansel tried mixing some fresh bio gel with a little bit of genadine and vodka and dared us all to drink it down. <laughs> <laughs> They're just getting fucking pissed. <laughs> They're just fucking scooting people's brains out and being like doing all this fucking really dark shit and they're just down there getting fucking pissed. <laughs> what the fuck? It turned out to be pretty good. Kinda thick and sweet with just the right amount of kick. We came up with a little game to try and name the drink. A whole bunch of stupid ones came up of course, but we finally settled on Extractor Sunrise. Too bad we can't share it with other departments, but the bio gel costs like a thousand bucks a pint. That is a really fucking expensive pint. And I don't think Cyrilotti would appreciate us drinking down some of our budget. <laughs> Quite literally drinking the budget. Today was Halsty's birthday, so we made him a brain shaped cake. Well, sort of. We actually just took one of the extracted brains and covered it with frosting. Of course, we didn't tell Halsty that. The look on his face when he bit down on the slice we gave him was pretty hilarious. It was a waste of a decent subject brain, but the prank was totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, that was worth one human person. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We really have some good times down here. I sincerely hope that they don't reassign anyone away from the department. We're Working well together and our efficiency rating can't get much higher. Well, it probably could get much higher if you would stop fucking feeding brains to people. Womack over in sanitation made an offhand comment that his job having to grab what was left of our test subjects and dispose of them in the furnace felt wrong. What was that role there, man? Fuck you. <laughs> then, not a day later, I was sharing lunch with some of the personnel from the assembly division and they asked me if pulling the brains out of our test subjects' heads ever bothered me. I told them that nah, didn't it at all. Cause that's how this guy speaks now. I'm not sure why some of the people this project are having some problems with what we're doing. Maybe they should look for work somewhere else. Right, cool. So that is that is extremely fucked up what was on that fucking terminal. Alright then. Right, okay, so here we go. Final battle. This time we're gonna fucking storm this shit. Right, you cool. Megaraz back. Right, fucking moan then once again. Have a fucking go. Oh, mysterious stranger. There he goes. Oh, right into that pit. Go. Hey, this guy needs to die first, right? Come on, get rid of that. Seriously, mate. Those fucking eyebots, man. Right, we're doing good, we're doing good, right? They're just fucking bouncing about the place like crazy bastards. Come on. There it goes. Oh, shit. Self destruct. Of course I'm towing you, Sparks. Any are there any of them left? Oh, just that one over there then I guess. Right, cool. Repair to your companion with arm. Come on, just end them. End them now. This guy's gonna hit me. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay. I should probably heal. Yeah, let's let's do that. Who the fuck's hitting me, man? There's a guy right in my face, isn't there? Me, man. Gonna go away. Yeah, that's right. Ah, shit. Tesla portal. See the I just died. Right, mechanist. Third time's the fucking charm. <laughs> right. 
This time you will not get the better of McGraw, I can fucking guarantee it. Alright. But oh, these these wee bastards are what killed me last time, right? Fucking get him. Oh shit, <laughs> fucking Jesus! What is wrong with those guys? They just fucking fly all over the place. Right, go. Go McGraw, take him out. Oh shit, fucking hell. <laughs> do they all do that? I don't understand why that happens. Right. Oh wait, I just went over and cumbled. What a great time for this to fucking happen. <laughs> Turret bot. No. Oh shit, no, these fucking eggs, man. I'm so tanky. Right. Okay, hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it. Come on, McGraw. Wait, what? I was spamming the crit button. I had a fucking crit. What the hell? Wait, what? Okay. Come on then, you dick. Okay, that, that was that was actually quite a lot of fucking damage that guy just fucking did. Shit. Come on. Ah oh, shit, they're all just gonna fucking blow up right in my face now. Come on, take out that second one. Oh. Okay, it didn't it didn't do any Ah oh, shit. shit. Can it can it move away from me? Move away from me. Okay. Okay. But I think you failed to grasp the full reality of your situation. I think you fail to grasp the reality of your situation mechanist, you're about to get turned into a fucking puddle in a few minutes. Alright Ada, you just you just fucking hanging out then, aye? I miss Mad Duck. It's been a long time since we've had the duck. Yeah, you're still doing alright then, aye. <laughs> Mad fucking Ada just sort of wanders about staring at me. There's like robots everywhere that want to murder us and she's just she's just fucking looking over here for no reason. Go and find some fucking enemies, you useless bastard. Joe but what? Alright, oh, they started showing up. Right, okay, come on. Come on, can I get one more hit? I shot Ada instead. I was so close. Okay, okay, the fucking legendary's coming for me. Come on, come on, just spam it, spam it, just hit it. I need to jump off of this thing, I think. No, no mysterious stranger for me, no. Where is it? It just fell through the fucking ground or some shit. I don't un- is this some Terminator shit happening right now? What is going on? Okay. Okay. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Okay. <laughs> we just made a really dramatic exit. Okay. Right. That... Just about worked. Okay, shit. Yeah, it's this guy. It's this guy I need to kill. I need to get rid of this fucking guy. Oh shit. No, no, no. Oh my god, man. Fucking Jesus Christ. I ran out of ammo right at the last second though. What is that? Right. This thing. You need, you need to die, man. You just need to stop. Okay, there it goes. Right, sorted. Right, okay. Okay, brilliant. That was kind of a waste of a jet there, but... Oh, fuck's sake. We went over and cumbled right at the last second. Right. Grilled rad sack. There we go. I just need to survive. This next two minutes, or whatever. Okay, okay, it's just... This 20 seconds really is what it is. It counts from 10, but it's not in seconds, man. It's a bit fucking slower than that. Right, come on. Oh shit. Where'd you come from me, man? <laughs> Guy just showed up out of the blue there, man. <laughs> right. You know what? I don't know if I'm actually equipped to take out the, the mechanist when I get to this fight here at the end. Hey! We at least got to this bit. Would it be possible, do you think, to go back and save it? <laughs> Can I save it now, please? Ah. Oh. Shit. This is a Dover scourge. I will not rest until I see the Commonwealth free of you. The fuck you saying? For one second, right? When she comes outside, is when I put it back on again, right? Right. Okay. Let me just. Let me just get that suit on then. <laughs> oh, in fact, you know what? Let's fucking see then. Let's see, let's see how this works. Okay, 
I'm not a villain. No. I just want you to hear me out. To what end? So you can crush me as you crushed my allies? Besides, do you truly think I'd leave the safety of my command center? People said I would get unique dialogue with this f fucking suit on. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> the truth must be known. Right, hold on. With me. Hold on. Right, okay. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. She doesn't know I'm getting back in the armor again. I'm taking the chances with this cow. Right, much health you got then. Oh, oh, definitely doable. Right, hold on. Aye, let's do that then. Right, so. It's time I faced the true enemy of the Commonwealth. Right, get that bucket off now. There you go. Why see that face? Right there. Now we both know who we're dealing with. <laughs> she doesn't know who's what comes next. <laughs> No! Fire! Let me fire! Let me fire, you fucking piece of shit! Let me- let me fire! No, I wanna- right. Oh, it won't let me actually fire. What the fuck? What is this shit? Hold on. Oh, I just wasted that there. Can I not- it, it doesn't let you if you're fucking looking at them. Ah, oh, no way! I just screamed fucking kill right in her fucking face. Oh, were we still oh, talking? Fucking hell. Right, oh, hold on, let me- Let me fucking- You think I'm an enemy? <laughs> I may have busted up robots, I completely just, I just am. I tried to just do it right there and then, but it wouldn't let me. Right. Only people that threaten the safety Whoa. of the common with a spinning going on here. The robots are programmed to protect. Their subroutines are clean. Observe, evaluate, and react accordingly. The testing was thorough. I ran every scenario, all past. Well, you don't know, your robo brains are fucking absolute psychopathic murdering pieces of shit. I, I don't believe you. They can't alter their programming. They're programmed to save people. Well, why don't you just go and have a fucking look outside then? You be able to see for yourself, for fuck's sake. I need to think. You have to believe. With the number of precautions I took, anyone would have concluded it was safe. Safe? You fucking kid me on. Fucking safe. You send out those fucking lunatics and they just cruise about the place trying to claw my one remaining ball off and shit for fuck's sake. That's no fucking safe. No else is not safe. Me. It's people like you that are ruining this world. People like you that need to be stopped. But I can't allow you oh, to shit. keep terrorizing the commons. Oh shit. She done it. She got in there before I had a chance to fucking... Right, okay, hold on. Hold on. Where is she? Shit. Where is she? Where did she fucking go? Shit. I was good. Oh, okay. Okay, she's up there. I can't see her at all, man. Right, get a. I know what I did. Know, I know exactly what to do here. Molotovs. Where the fuck is she? I'm just needing one solid fucking hit on her. Come on, come on. No, I need. Oh shit, shit. Run, you fucking lunatic. Jesus. I had her there as well. Come on. Oh, Ada got a final hit. <laughs> I never even got to fucking finish her off. Ada fucking killed her. <laughs> right. You, you fucking bastard, right? Here, let's get, let's get her over here. You fought valiantly, and uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take this, uh, right? Aye, and I'm gonna take all your stuff now. Where's uh, can I saw my right eye? Let's, can I have that? Oh shit, that's fucking valuable, man. Yeah, give me that shit, right? But that's plenty for you, you fucking anus licking cunt muffin bastard. Off you go. McGraw is now the one true victor. Look at him standing fucking proudly, and with, with no arms left on his fucking suit because he got fucked up that many times. <laughs> oh my god, that was a pure struggle. Right, where, where did she land? Right, okay, let me just, let me just jump right in. There you go, right, that's, that's you sorted. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Right, what is this? Myerworks, seriously. You know what, actually, that's pretty fucking good. I'm, yeah, why not, man, why not? Okay, 
Um, over encumbered. By how much? Four. Fuck. Remember that bit where I said? Right, but that's plenty for you, you fucking anus licking cunt muffin bastard. Off you go. That insult was a suggestion for Ash. Cracking patter there, hen. You sure showed that bastard. You wanna submit your insults for McGraw for a weekly episode? I'll pick some out if you leave them down in the comments. Try and come up with some weird and wonderful shit for McGraw to say, and he can berate some poor bastard. Here's an example for ye. Fucking moan then, you ugly wee cunt faced peg legged foamy mouth. Rick. Right, back to the episode. Right, pop the pills, McGraw, we need to get a fuck out of here. Aha, right, right, let's get into this master control terminal. There we go. Boom. Sorted. Cancel security alert. Alright, that was just open all the doors. Right, good shit. Right, speak to Ada, who is uh, the true champion here. They got the final hit in, taking down that fucking mechanist. Hey. Yeah. And by the way guys, right, I said I was gonna kill her, but I never actually selected that. She attacked me. I didn't fucking even start that fight. You stopped the mechanism. I'm fucking straight I did, motherfucker. She was a fucking crazy bitch, man. We are mad. Dexter's laboratory type fucking inflicted. shit going on here. Had those robots remained unchecked, I'm certain the damage would have been extensive. Hold I am sure that now McGraw's and Charles will avoid all that here. extensive Knowledge damage. Tying up loose ends as if, like, you're in a fucking mafia or something, Ada. What are you trying to say? You try to fucking challenge my dominance here. You don't call hits. Only McGraw calls the fucking hits. Good. Tracking. <laughs> that, that was it. Tracking. Good. Alright, cool. Right, whatever. Tell us where all these wee cunts are then. I'll maybe kill them if I can be arsed. Destroy the rogue robot. Right, okay then. Look at these fucking wee creepy looking. Bastards. I feel like I'm missing something here. No, going back down, hold on. I'm missing something definitely. There's got to be some sort of bubble head or gun or magazine or some shit down here. There's got to be. I don't even need to wear the pompadour wig anymore. I could just wear the helmet alongside this suit. <laughs> like a fucking lunatic. Yeah, let's get this level up on the go then. What are we wanting? What's, what's going to be useful? See, I would just take strong back, but I'm going to get the dog back soon, so I'm going to get so much more carry capacity. Could just do more damage. Uh, Mysterious Stranger could show up more often, because he has only showed up like once so far, I think. Better criticals, do a bit more damage with that. Or I could save an additional critical. You know what, man? I'm going to get another critical. Boom. So now I can save two. Right, okay, so I can save two of those now. Fantastic, right, okay. So I want to look around this place and make sure uh, would that work? It is working, yeah, because you get four off of that. Nice. <laughs> I just want to have a wee look at him, you know. This might be McGraw's uh, default. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just looks fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> It looks so stupid. Well, alright, okay, whatever. Right, uh... <laughs> Aha, here we go. Drawing of the Mechanist. Oh, no, wait, is that... It's just that natural... Alright, oh, I remember seeing this before. I guess I'll just... Take this, then. Oh, of course we get a fucking disease the second we wake up, for God's sake. What is it this time, McGraw? Lethargy. Again? Ada, hey, this is where we part ways, right? You said you were gonna stay here. You, you, you said you were gonna stay here. Why are you still following me, man? Yeah, fucking stalker. Oh, she just gave me stuff. Alright, cheers. Now I'm over encumbered, Ada. That doesn't fucking help me. Fucking give me an alarm clock when I'm telling her to fuck off. You may shut the fuck up and go away and never, never speak to me again, right? Disabled personality. <laughs> That's such a cold thing to do. Right. Of action, but you're in charge. Damn fucking right, I'm in charge, motherfucker. You said you're gonna stay here in the mechanist layer, so I'm, I'm very happy to just leave you here. So you get back down in that fucking. You, look how fucking sad she looks that she's getting sent back down there. <laughs> we'll fucking enjoy it, right? I'll not be back. Fuck this place. Now, I know some of you were saying don't kill the mechanist and all that shit, but you know, it's it's McGraw we're talking about here, of course he's gonna fucking murder her. Plus she attacked me first anyway, so death was the only outcome in that fucking scenario there. And I'm no fucking doing it again, so I don't kill her, so nah, fuck that. Right, okay, finally, we're back outside. Now I've got a couple of options. I was thinking that I could just head up and talk to Jack Cabot because uh, I've still got his uh, mysterious serum just on me at all times, which is kind of annoying. I should have sent the dog to go and stay 
at the airport base. That would have been smart. I would have actually, yeah, I would have been able to just go and get the dog and I would have been sorted. But no, instead the dog's halfway across the fucking Commonwealth. But I want to take this power armor back. Fuck it. Okay, great. The one thing I've never understood in this game, right, is how how is it that they've got like an infinite supply of these fucking things? They show up on this and they're like, oh, this is the pure mega ship. It's got all of the shit that we need. And it looks like it's got about, what, I would say, if you're lucky, eight docks there on that. But you get two there and you get two there and then you get another two here and another two there. So yeah, eight fucking docks there for vertebrates. Yet they seem to cruise around as if they've got a fucking fleet of the bastards. See, the one thing is, right, in future, I won't have to do this. Once uh, I link up with um, the Institute at some stage, you're uh, you're able to teleport about like a fucking magician. And that can take you right back to the center of the map again. So that's kind of going to, in the future, once I get to that point there where I, I've actually met up with the Institute and done some stuff with them, then I, I should be able to very easily make my way back to Hangman's Alley any time, really. Because it's, it's just... You teleport to a place that is nearby, so you can just walk around, so that's not too bad. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to settle for just vertebrating right through the tops of buildings and shit, because that's... <laughs> I don't know why they can't program these things, they just not fly into buildings. There's Diamond City there, and all its big blocky and glory. <laughs> Look at it, when you see it from the air, it looks so shit. Look at that shit, man. <laughs> it just looks like something you would see on, like, PS1. And it looks like it's got a huge bong in the fucking middle of it. What is that, man? What is that meant to be? <laughs> a pure cardboard village. With a big fucking bong in the middle. Right, back to our favourite spot. Who, who's over here for me today? Who are these people? I see you. For landing. Touchdown. Could be a little I don't know who these guys are. I would just open up on them if I, if I knew they were bad. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, here. Here, pal. What a, what a ball. Oh, steady stranger. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to get involved just in case it's like a fucking sentry bot. I don't have the ammo in my good weaponry, so no, nah, I ain't messing with that. <laughs> There's the dog. There's the main, the main man himself. Did I put this down here? I don't even remember doing that. Right. <laughs> Did I just make a fucking clicking noise at my dog? <laughs> He understands English already. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> What's happening here? Since when has this been a fucking thing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and I'm doing a wee dance. Look at him. Yay. <laughs> Alright, mate, McGraw's got a new look. Yeah, you enjoying it? <laughs> Wait, have I got enough beers on me? Okay, now, this is actually where I put all of my stuff. I, this is all the shit that I didn't take with me to that mission just there. Look how much more carry capacity I've got. Jesus. Right, take it all. Take everything. I just leave that. What was this, um... Is this you? Alright, Jezebel, why? Is someone else had a, a good idea for you? Yeah, I'm sure um, Jezebel prefers this fucking arrangement of parts instead. <laughs> well done, you're just a big floating eyeball now. Oh yeah, the Silver Shroud, that's the other one I want to do, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sort out Jack Cabot and I'm going to sort out Silver Shroud. So I need to get around to actually doing some of those fucking quests. Oh, there's all the people in my bed again, fuck's sake, man. McGraw does sure love a fucking orgy, doesn't he? <laughs> right, I think we need a new name for Overseer's Guardian, right? Because that's just no cutting it, man. I'm not even going to do anything clever for this one. It's just literally going to be called Double Penetration. <laughs> it shoots an extra an extra projectile, man. You know, it's double. It, it, that's, I'm, I'm not lying with any of what I've just said. <laughs> right. I don't have any ammo left for this fucking thing. Shit. Right, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm gonna guess, let's just, um, let's get the first, the first, like, stall going, because I need some ammo, I just, and I'm not going around to shitty Diamond City's fucking traders, man, just for them to rip me off, might as well get my own guys in, eh, there, that'll do, right, no, I need to, I need to get one of these guys, you with a fucking Fresh Prince haircut, come on, you're the, you're the gun guy now, gonna, gonna go and, gonna go and sell me guns, please. Please, now, would be nice, but fuck's sake, man, I ain't gonna wait. <laughs> Get out my bed, you fucking manky bastard. That's right, you fucking better, son. Right, I think I need to wait until, um, shop hours. Fresh Prince, get your fucking ass over there. Gonna just fucking, right, this is a mutiny, right, I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting Sheffield in charge of the guns, this is probably a mistake. Gonna fucking somebody come over here and do their job, for fuck's sake. Right, I'm gonna bring the actual thing to them, right, I'm just gonna... There, right, mate. 
there's no space for this. <laughs> there's no space for this anywhere. Uh, gonna eat. There's actually no room for this anywhere, that makes sense. There, it's right there, right? Sheffield. Sheffield, right? right? You have a job now, Sheffield. You have a job. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that means? What fucking time is it? What, what, what time is it right now? 11.02 AM, right? It's well past opening hours. It's gonna fucking... Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's moving. Right. Come on. Come on. Don't tell me you can't make it. Is he in? Right. Hey, Sheffield. No. Coming to work for me. For God's sake, he's still, Thank you. He's still I broken. Think right, no, you. Get off. You, get on. Okay. Oh, okay, no, no teleporting about, mate. Great, Sheffield, you're sacked. Out of the way, you lasted all of like three seconds. Right, mate. Come on. Sure. Get on it then. There we go, finally, man. Jesus. Right, go. Hands on it, go. Good shit. Right, okay, we have our own shop. Our first <laughs> shop. If you need a weapon, you come to the right. Damn fucking right I have, mate. I fucking told you to be here. Let's see what you have. Great. <laughs> I forgot about a helmet. <laughs> I'll keep the helmet on for a little while, man, but we need to be able to see McGraw's lovely face at some stage. Right, I need 45 rounds. I need all of the 45 rounds, pal. Right, so give me all of them. Fucking hell, man, it is freezing. When the fuck did it become November? What happened? Uh, what, what happened to this year, man? It just disappeared. <laughs> was it fucking November already? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I'm just going to assume they killed that super mutant because he's not hanging about here. Oh, we have shotgun shells, though. Nice. I need to go to this hallucinogen place. Hmm. I do have to go here for that, that guy that's in the Rexford Hotel. Because I... You know what? Yeah, you know what? You know what? Right. We're doing this now instead. <laughs> this is, um... What's the gin? This is for the guy that's in the Rexford Hotel. I could do this, and then do Jack Cabot's thing, and then go to Good Neighbor, and then I could get the Silver Shroud started up and also turn in this quest at the same time. This sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, there's someone. It's just a random raider up there. Right, I can't really see you, pal, but I can just... Oh, there you are! Hey, well, I'll just shoot you right in the fucking face, then. Whoa! Whoa, what happened to this guy? <laughs> Man, this guy got a really bad one. Someone fucking wiped him out with a bench. <laughs> Crammed his neck right in there and just pulled it. <laughs> That's fucking horrendous, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, man, that's that's not a good way to go, kids. You want to watch out for those pot benches. They could they can be real killers. So I'm just gonna take this cab. <laughs> I, I was gonna just shoot his head off, but I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave him like that, is. so people can know this hallucinogen place is not to be fucked with. <laughs> okay, now this place hallucinogen. Uh, I'm here to. I mean, that means rebels. That, yeah, that means um, railroad. It just means that there's one close by, I think, when you see that fucking signal on the wall. Ah, beer balls. Fuck it, they'll come in handy later. If there is a stash. Oh, it could be to do with this. Tactical hardened combat shotgun. It would be useful if I didn't already have a, a good shotgun with Elmo the Fudd. But it's fine, whatever. And people, yeah, they keep telling me in the comments. A couple of people have brought this up a few times where they've said that uh, I left uh, an irradiated shotgun. I think in County Crossing, when I'm back up that way again, which I am kind of heading in that direction, so I might actually head over there and pick that up and see how that looks. Because, um, does it do poison damage per pellet? Or I don't know how it works, so I'll, I'll maybe have to have a wee look at it and see how good that looks. And also there's, um, the Le Fusil, or wh whatever the fuck, Le Fusil shotgun that's <laughs> in uh, Libertalia, but, uh, okay, there's, everyone's, everyone's shooting everyone in here, right, out. How are you doing then, mate? I'll just, I'll just no-scope you then. How about you, mate? You want, you want some of this shit? Eh? Some of these no-scopes? Or just, I'll scope you. Oh, fuck! Okay, did he throw that at me? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so the backstory of what's going on in here... <laughs> is that, um... It's hallucinogen. Hallucinogen. Uh, they make, like... 
like gases and I think they weaponize like chemicals and shit. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of leaked out and everyone is losing their shit. Everyone is tripping balls in this fucking place. Except McGraw. For some reason, McGraw's immune to this. McGraw's experienced much heavier shit than this before. Oh, oh, we got a proper fight. He's dead. No, you're dead. Well done. Right, who wants to, to challenge McGraw? Anybody? Can it go through enough, right? Fantastic. Oh, 45 rounds. But yeah, everyone is freaking out. They're, they're shooting at each other and they're fucking just in a total state right now. So it's a prime opportunity for you to just sneak up and start battering cunts over the head. Tag team! Mate, you don't turn on the tag team. You betrayed my trust, me man. Right, okay, hold on. Let me just take this then. Let's freak him out. Hey, hey, hey. What are you all doing here? Hello? How you doing? Hold on, I'll show you our mate in a second here. Let me just... You see him? You see this? You looking, at the wee, looking at the wee neck bits, man. Enjoy that. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Who, who are you? I'm your fucking one saviour and king. Who the fuck are you? Threaten. I will tear your fucking skin off. I will wear it to your mother's birthday party. And I will rub your nuts up and down her leg whilst whistling Bohemian fucking Rhapsody, right? No. Get out of my fucking sight. Right, open that shit. Open it right now. A chemical leak has been detected. Fucking. Ow. That was not very nice with. <laughs> right, let's put our next to our pal here then. So we're gonna make a wee collection. Right, research terminal. Should we should we get a wee bit of war and see what the fuck's going on here then? Now let's have a switch. What's, what's happening? Activate current prototype. What the fuck's it talking about here? Apparently I can just fuck some people up with uh, an electrical discharge. Okay. View lab reports. Hold on. I want to see what the fuck this is then. So it's hallucinogen gas. Goal riot pacification. <laughs> so instead of tear gas, they've just got this shit. And you throw a fucking frag grenade to, to deliver it. What the hell? Two out of five injured by grenade explosion. One seriously. Five out of five suffered traumatic ad adrenal gland rupture due to gas exposure. Result in hallucinations, erratic behaviour, increased aggression, frenzy, 4 out of 5 killed in ensuing melee, <laughs> for fuck's sake, 1 died due to heart failure, so everyone died basically, you, you threw this at them to try and fucking tame a riot that was, apparently this is the sort of test subject, where you're supposed to be able to tame riots with this shit, and you end up killing everyone, so that's, I would say that's pretty much a failure to be honest, similar to previous tests, how many people did you kill doing this shit? At the, at the concentrations required for wide area dispersal, massive adrenaline sink surges occur. Recommend revising the chemical substrate. Okay, so don't use that shit. I would definitely recommend that. Right, okay, hallucinogen eradicator. Right, what it's for is fuel decontamination and you need to use vents for this, so it's a gas. 49 out of 50 biochemical contaminants neutralized. 3 out of 3 subjects suffered lethal doses of radiation. So that didn't fucking work either. Brilliant. You are just killing people in this lab for like no reason. Test chamber heavily irradiated all panels and insulation replaced. Consider reclassifying for lethal weapons research. Eradicator power supplies require further development. Current two ton weight unsuitable for field deployment. So they're supposed to be making non-lethal shit and they can't help themselves but make lethal shit. That's when you know they're doing fucking well. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate- oh no wait, this is probably gonna just go off in this room, innit? Oh yeah, yeah. So I shouldn't have done that. That was a really dumb idea. Right, cool. <laughs> There may have been a magazine on that table, hold on. Uh, oh no, there was one in here. I knew there was one about here somewhere. Right, okay, plus 5% critical damage. That's, that's no bad on the old energy weapon. Right, okay, so we're not done here yet, though. Let's have a munch, considering he needs one. Look at man. Such a romantic couple. <laughs> Doing alright there, pal, are you the lookout? <laughs> this, look how cool this guy looks. He doesn't even look like Please he cared when he died. He's building. just like, ah, fuck it. Whatever, man, mate, you win. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna snooze now, man. Oh, it's all kicking up again. Right. Watch out, someone has Molotovs. Surprise, bitch. Ah, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> I see that giggling, man. What the fuck? Right, I've, I've got a broken arm. Two broken arms. Great. <laughs> here, Doug. You might want to not be on fire. Come back here a second here. Doug, just go there. Right, just go. Alright, pal, why? Oh. 
I count in terminals with Swiss Ham on this shit then. Like, we're, we're gonna say this guy's English, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. Not in an English accent for a wee while. Right, this isn't for public release, this is just their um, quarter financials, right? Hallucinogenic reported a net operating loss of $1.8 billion for the third financial quarter. Hallucinogen is now in its third year of operation. It aspires to be the world leader in cutting edge non lethal technology for police and military use. That's really working out well for you, man. Aye, so non lethal, you're doing a great fucking job. <laughs> Gen President and CEO Eric Rice stated that this has been a difficult quarter with significant delays in several major product lines. Nonetheless, we remain optimistic about the potential of our research and we hope to achieve a positive cash flow within the next two years. Now that's optimistic considering you've done fuck all in the last three years since you existed. Hallucinogenic is pleased to report a third quarter revenue of $1.1 billion. Hallucinogen is now in its third year of operations, aspires to be the world leader in cutting edge non lethal technology. Okay, this is just the same fucking thing. Wait, hold on, what did I... Draft one. Oh, right, uh, yeah, it's just a different draft. That's not for public release. And this one isn't for... A, a, wait, 1.1 billion. This one says 1.8 billion. A loss. Oh, shit. Oh, they're, they're, they're trying to do a Sevco. <laughs> but two of you out there don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, All right, okay, we'll get more guys. More guys just tighten about the place right now. Okay, then. Watch it, duck. Right. <laughs> so like someone's having an epic battle, let's just... Uh, you know what, I think I might have actually just skipped this entire section. Yeah, I did. <laughs> In one jump, I just Please, skipped the whole thing. The Go on. Go on, fucking get him. Get him, man. What are you doing standing there, you couple of fucking pussies? Go on, get in there. This sounds like they're getting in there over here. Go on. Holy shit, man, we got fucking Duke Nukem over here. Are you gonna get your ass beat by some cunt in a fucking hood? Come on, man. I don't. Oh shit, did you see that wee fucking jab combo there? Oh, and then he just got floored. Alright, okay then. <laughs> right. Right, okay, well, well, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go over here then, right? And, um. Uh, they can continue their wee fights. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to them in the near future. Oh, observation area. Oh, right. Step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Well, we have one guy just sort of crouched over here. I don't know, he must be like tripping Please balls freaking out. Why well, I press this, pal? Hallucigen's eradicator provides your forces with a state-of-the-art field decontamination solution. Right, cool, there's your decontamination pal. Let me see how you... Small amounts of residual radiation uh, may persist in nice the deed. Area. All right, okay, Dosage brilliant. Dosage subject to change pending safety evaluation. <laughs> yep, no, he's got that spot on. That's perfect. Right, next up then. So we've got this wee guy. So what's this one? What's this one do? from Hallucigen is a new advanced field of stealth technology capable of doing away with cumbersome personal generators forever. Right, okay, demonstrate then, I'm sure this is Some perfect. may become inaudible and or intangible. Effects may be permanent. Further research is ongoing. Oh. Oh, I've just made that guy invisible. He's he's probably gonna... He's probably coming Repeat. for me now. <laughs> a chemical leak has been detected. Please Hold evacuate on. the building. Yeah, I made that guy, like, more difficult to kill. Whatever, let's see what this one does. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try hallucinogen suppressor. A safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Alright then. Oh, just fucking knock them on their ass there. <laughs> Paralyzed instantly. Small animals and or large animals. Discretion is advised. I love the little disclaimers at the end. <laughs> Doug, you might not want to rub your ass against that broken glass. That's probably not good for your fucking sphincter. Alright, and the final one. Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. Peacefully, right? Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from <laughs> It's not from responsible the because they say they're not responsible, okay? <laughs> That sounds like they probably died. Okay. Right, observation room then. Let's have a swatch at this. Let's see what's happening then. Heavily. Yes. Oh, I just clicked it random there. Okay, that worked. Right, okay, so. Greet VIPs. Introduce hallucinogen. Relevant products. Uh, activate automated demonstration system. Observe automated demonstration. When malfunctions occur, trigger a different demonstration to switch focus. <laughs> like how it says, when malfunctions occur. <laughs> 
Because they will happen, you know, because we don't know what we're doing over here. In the event of catastrophic failure or immediately following tests of the eradicator, escort VIPs to the conference room with a mark for a marketing presentation. <laughs> oh, hey, give us just, or if we show off the eradicator, because we know that's fucked, lads, so it's probably not a thing that we want to be hanging about too much with. Because, um, it, yeah, it tends to fuck shit up. Clear labs of test subjects, blood, fluids, Jesus. After a test of the eradicator, notify facilities to replace the test chamber. Okay, well, seems like the eradicator is not to be fucked with. Alright then, insecurity lockdown. See, the problem I've got now is that invisible guy is now just out there. So I need to keep my eye out for him. Because um, not being able Please to vax them puts me in a massive disadvantage, to be honest. Like, I'm, I've been relying on vats so much in this playroom. Oh. Right. Guys are shouting about bugs. I don't think she sees me yet. Nope, she doesn't. Punch her into space. Yeah. And then and you and you, you stand no chance. Puny fucking bastard. Like, give me your stuff. Maybe good. That's how much damage they did to me just there. What's under your skin? Here's a gun. Go, you are. Do something about it. Go, here's a gun, pal. Just do... Yeah. Right? Yeah, you've got a gun now. So, what's happening? Hey bugs, <laughs> bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. What, Please what about them? Evacuate Get away. the building. Get away. Get away, why? Are you giving me a fucking command, son? You, you aren't real. Oh, you I'm as fucking real, real as they come, wee man. I know people are only used to seeing me in their nightmares, but... You know, I'm I'm here and I am real. Wait, anyone else want to have a fucking crack? Oh shit! Okay, don't go that way. All right, I learned that the hard way there. Uh, there we go. Just get the decontamination out. She's going. Get this place fucking cleared. The fuck's through here anyway. Oh, lasers! What? Oh, someone has stoned out their mind. Oh fuck! It's the command offering. Right, okay. All right. I fucking see you there. Yeah, I was worried about you as well. I didn't realise it was a commander that I made the fucking... Can I get out of the way? Fucking... Right, okay. We're in the lab. The commander's deed. Oh, get out of the way. Right, hallucinogen key. Gunner's note. Hallucinogen mi mission brief. I think looking at the hallucinogen mission brief would make more sense first here. So this is what they were here to do, the gunners, right? Client classified, right? They don't even know who they're fucking working for. Target hallucinogen, mission tech salvage. Objectives, make contact with your recon team, frontal assault, take out opposition or automated defences, fortified position, secure pre-war military tech, basically take all the useful shit from this place, right? Just basically bust in this place and take all the useful shit. I don't know what's going on with this screen. Why is it all fucked up? I don't understand. <laughs> I think my game might have bugged out a little bit. Right. Gunner's note then. Right, let's see exactly what they were saying about the whole thing. Gotta focus. Riding might help. Some kind of gash in the lab. We broke in. It got out. Hit the vents. Went everywhere. Everyone just snapped. Lock and Harrow threw on me. Shot them dead. I think. Hurts to think. Shield the door again. Can't let any more get out. Wait long enough, maybe I can adjust. Have to tough it out. Have to. Hurt so much. Can hear them. Voices. They're coming. They're coming. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, sounds like that guy was having a good fucking time. Brilliant. <laughs> that was some demented shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty. Like, kids, do not fuck with drugs, man. They fuck with your brain. <laughs> This here is proof. This is a, the, the, akin to sniffing the glue. You don't fucking sniff the glue. The glue sniffs you. I don't know what the fuck am I talking about. <laughs> test results. Invisiwave. Let me see exactly what happened then. Third test. A complete success. Admiral was impressed. Inquired about shipboard installations. DM. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing this is the notes here at the bottom from scientists or something. So whoever DM is. Your Invisiwave is five mirrors. Two hex death boys and a trap door. Thanks for a splash demo, but you really crossed the line this time. Sales went 200 units by December. Good luck with that. Product the the Eradicator. Apparently it was tested last week. All biological and chemical contaminants destroyed. Subject in the test chamber received 5,100 rads radiation. 
Observers left the viewing room before subject skin disintegrated. <laughs> they got the fucking observers out there before it went Tess up. What the fuck? <laughs> Test chamber stripped and reconstructed. So you build a two-ton machine that irradiates people. What's, what part of handheld field contaminated did you not understand? Points for getting the VIPs out before things got messy though. All they care about is their image. They don't give a shit about actually making stuff work. They just need funding and to look like they're doing okay. <laughs> They don't give a shit that they'll just melting people and shit. Subject survive test, failed to recover from treatment, ran screaming at the side of his own child in the waiting room. Police still in pursuit. That is really <laughs> Police still in pursuit. <laughs> what the fuck? Not only that is so bad, that is so fucking dark. The fact that they took this guy in there. To test, to do fucking tests on him and his, his kid is just in the next room, just in a waiting room and doesn't even know if he's going to see his own fucking, I'm going to guess dad, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't specify. <laughs> but I love the fact that he just runs he's screaming and the cops the are now chased him. <laughs> Update, apprehended, subject institutionalized. <laughs> oh my god man, you ruined that guy. This person is supposed to stop riots, not start them. This entire line of research is a joke. I'm transferring the project to Karen. Send her your files and destroy your samples. Then clean out your desk. Guy got sacked. Right, for once somebody actually got fucking sacked for this monstrosity of a fucking company. Right, hallucinogen gas. Despite new formulation, gas still caused traumatic adrenal gland rupture and frenzy in four out of five subjects. One survived initial exposure and began to acclimate before being beaten to death by the other subjects. <laughs> Why <laughs> is this place? Why does this company exist? They just kill people for no reason. Adjust dosage, retest, at least this is making progress. If Markton would just position this as a military grade chemical weapon, we'd be done here. Maybe make a good grenade or artillery shell. The suppressor, again, is just made to paralyze people. Subject successfully incapacitated. Paralysis appears to be permanent. Transferred to Metro Memorial for monitoring. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they just, it's just they're, they're paralyzed now. They're they're dead, essentially. We have now just turned their life into a nightmare. They're like that guy that the song One by Metallica is about. Darkness imprisoning me! He is not having a good time. You were the lead engineer on the damn Mesmertron and you can't get the crowd pacification right with one of your own prototypes to reverse engineer? What? Did they miss you on the way out? You're the highest paid researcher here. I expect better. I'm kind of going back into that cattle rustler voice again. I don't know if maybe that voice changed halfway through that. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, we've um, we've killed everyone, I think. I think that... Oh, wait, there's still something nearby, because that's still moving. Right, I need a one of these. I think. Detected. Hold on, what was the, what was the fucking the quest? Let me see. Search for scrap and hallucinogen ink. The fuck? Hallucinogen key and a couple of armor pieces. Ooh! Right leg is actually better than what I've got already. Where have I got my right leg? Ah, right, okay then. We've got something that's actually looks half decent. Right, where the fuck? It says on this map that there's specific things I'm supposed to be here to get. I don't know. Oh, are these the guys that get paralyzed, by the way? <laughs> no. I don't know where the fuck they are. I've walked around this whole place. Let's have a wee look. No, okay, I fell through the floor because I didn't realize there was a hole there. Okay. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Right, there we are. Oh, there's still people. Where are you? Ah, you doing all right? You doing all right, there, mate? <laughs> I never even fired. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. What was that? Please there. Please, please go. Oh, bobby pins. Oh, that guy was trying to get in this safe. That wasn't really happening for him then. Right. Okay. Well, apparently it'll be. I'll, I'll just need to do it with this then. Right. Right. There we go. Miss, I just picked up eight fucking missiles. I don't need those. Fuck it. Right, I think that's me. Right, let's let's get the fuck. Can we just? Can you just let me? Just let me through this one gap here. Fall out. Just let me. For fuck's sake. I just want out. I just want to go. <laughs> I hate this fucking layout of this place. A chemical leak has okay, been I detected. Okay, I think that might be it. Please hey, evacuate the building. Go. Good shit. I don't think I left anything behind. I really hope I didn't fucking leave anything behind. But that's that wee quest on there. That's, uh, I mean, I, I wasn't really planning on doing it, but I was walking right by the place and it's, uh, it kind of ties up quite nicely. So now I can go and talk to Jack Cabot, finish his wee first part of his quest, and then I can go and 
talk to the guy that I just did that for there. And then starting next week, we can start the Silver Shroud shit, and I can just get right into that, and then I could probably finish Jack Cabot's quest as well. And I'll all be fucking good. Let's make our way back up towards a uh, good neighbour. Oh yeah, and the Jack Cabot quest involves these cunts over here, so they'll get their fucking comeuppance pretty soon. So need to watch out, I don't get fucking shot and blown up by something, that would be pretty fucking mad if I am. How far am I from good neighbour? Please, please don't be that far. In fact, I need to go to Cabot's house, should I go there first? Can I save in Cabot's house? Or Cabot house? Fuck it, we'll go and see Jack Cabot. Fuck it. Right, just need to try and make sure that I don't get fucked by some random cunts as I make my way up here. That would not be fucking fun. And I don't want to have to do the whole hallucinogen quest again. Uh oh. Okay, they're in front of me. Yep, they're by this bridge. I've been here before and I got killed. Or did I get killed? No, I think I got killed afterwards. Hey, okay, come on. I'm using a stealth boy apparently. I don't know where they are, so I'm just gonna keep going. Just gonna keep on going. Okay, shit, shit. Okay, they know where I am and I don't know where they are, so I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Too much is at stake here. They might be shooting at my dog now. Maybe they're shooting at that vertebrate. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm out of here. Don't touch the cars because they can sometimes kill me. Alright, here's this big sentry bot bastard. How you doing? I'm no, I'm not here to cause any trouble. Right, just, you know, just, 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 ba just back up. Just back up. I'm just gonna, just gonna go in here now. Okay, mate. Right, cool. No, Alright, lads. Is? No, but that does Your sister be. is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. Yeah, what it's are you for, you can... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even I know where she is, going man. to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I've really struggled if to find that chair there. He's <laughs> no talking to you, okay? <laughs> Alright, duck. So did you find out what happened to the curry? I can't believe oh, you don't aye. care what happened to the curry. Aye, he got his fucking boss blown off. Eh, I found all the, all the shite though that you needed, right? So... I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Aye, see, I could, I could potentially, you know what, man? Fuck these cunts! I'm gonna see if I can, see if I can fucking keep this shit for myself. I didn't no, find I find fucking nothing, pal. Used it all. Yeah, figures. Oh well, here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. <laughs> now I have the serum. Oh hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. And you don't even care. Jack, <laughs> I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> he fucking hates her with all of his being. Just makes it more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which. We tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. So what, is she a pure slag then or something? She sounds like one. I thought I told you to cut out that kind of talk. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. Mate, I already she's know where she is. She's, no, she's literally yet. like around the corner. I could probably even go and do this shit uh, in the next five minutes, but I'm probably going to choose not to because I don't fucking care. <laughs> he has no response to that, right? Cool. Probably not. Let's save it here. Jack can be about his sister. Shut up, y'all. But right, fill bottle. It didn't let me do that before, did it? I'm pretty sure it didn't, but uh, uh, for some reason now it does. Okay. Good shit. It's me sorted. Right. Well, I'm gonna head to Good Neighbor. Uh, do you know what? I'm probably better. I've just 
I'm going to Good Neighbour anyway, so I'll, I'll just go and talk to the barman anyway, even though I know exactly where the woman is anyway, but we can see what, um, what is the guy's name? The wee English guy that works in the third rail, the wee English robot. We can see, see what the fuck he's saying. Right, mate, gonna calm yourself down. I come down here every once in a while. I think I've shown already that I'm a fucking good guy. McGraw's not really a good guy. I'm gonna turn a corner and there's gonna be a big fucking robot army and it's gonna murder me and I'm gonna... It's, 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 I'm really worried. Okay. Okay, there is right there. Oh, okay. The, this is the thing about survival mode, man. You get so tense. If you've been out for a while and you've not saved it and you've done a whole bunch of stuff, you get so fucking tense about possibly just going tits up at the last minute. Intervention note. Fuck's this. Right, I'm going to read this once I get inside and I'm nice and safe. Someone made some sort of intervention. I think I've seen this one before. That is a terrifying robot right there. But what was this? The guy was lying dead outside. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from Suffolk School. It's like... It's affecting you, like in a real bad way, man. You've been flying off the handle with every little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eyes. Heck, during that last farm raid, you even shot up a couple of runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. I know this stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean, I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. Well, your friends just don't want to see you go down the wrong path. Just drop the paste, man. And that guy was lying dead, so, uh, yeah. I, have we seen the paste so far in this playthrough? Is there, have, have we came across that food paste shit? Because there was a school, and they're feeding all the paste to all the kids, and I think everyone was going fucking crazy, because it's Fallout, and everyone does the most vile shit in this game. Oh, look at this wee, wee commune we've got here. Better keep your Is that... Strapped on. That's fucking Friendly Deacon place. again, innit? Hey, Deacon, what are you doing lying here like a fucking robo? You're right, back! Pal. I was hallucinogen. Find me something good. This guy permanently sounds like he's fucking on shrooms, man. Aye, fun all that gas shit. And it was pure fucking up all the people running about it, man. They were huffing that shit for weeks. They lost their fucking minds. You better be careful with this wee man. There you go. As promised. Anyway, do you want to pick anything up? Homebrewed chems right here. Home brood. I don't want none of your fucking brood shit, pal. I'm good, thanks. McGraw grows his own shit. So yeah, we took down the mechanist today. Finally got that fucking finished, man. It seemed to take so, so long to do. And we've uh, claimed our helmet for our, for our own personal use. So uh, we can rule this fucking kingdom one day. In fact, we're already starting that fucking rule. Oh, look at this fancy room in here, man. How did I not get this one? But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, hit that like button down below. I'm gonna, gonna do that fucking live stream. I'm sorry, real life shit's kind of gotten in the way. I've been out doing stuff and I've not had time to make that live stream that I'm... I want to do it. I do want to do it because I really want to get all these fucking bases built up and shit. But I've not really been in the house for the last few days, so I haven't gotten around to it. So I'm sorry about that, but hope you guys will be patient. You'll see a wee notification pop up sometime later this week. Look at the dog here begging for attention. <laughs> You'll probably see a wee notification will pop up saying that, that there's going to be a live stream at a certain time this week. I'll try and work out, you know, what I'm doing and um, how to go about actually scheduling a fucking live stream because I still don't know what I'm doing. Some of you guys may need to help me on Twitter and stuff. I might actually ask some of you guys to sort of run me through it a little bit on Twitter just to get myself all set up. But I want to do that this week. I do want to do that this week. And obviously there's going to be a Hitman Kill Everyone challenge coming out very, very soon. So keep your eyes out for that with the new maps coming out. So until then... I've been Big Money, this has been Wambo McGraw with his new helmet. I will see you guys later. Going to have a Goodbye. Mr.